Hi there, my friends across Guam. And I want to give you guys a quick update on our Tropical Depression 16W. What I can say right off the bat, though, is that this storm system is nothing you need to worry about, at least at this point. Yeah, there we go. There's our satellite imagery still tracking from the east towards the west. But look at the last 24 hours. There was all that convection almost took up the whole circle here. And then watch how it just kind of poofs away. That's a that dry air interacting with the cut just towards the north. You can see it here on enhanced infrared satellite imagery. Just pretty much falls apart. Center of circulation is in there, I promise. Now, over the last few hours, we have seen that convection kind of burst back up, which is the reason why there is still that chance of this being a tropical storm as it nears Guam and uh, just south of Saipan, but uh, not expecting a typhoon. Damaging winds likely off the table here as well, but still worth watching. That's the key thing. I mean, just take a look at the shear that's been combating this shear just towards the east of it, but now it is starting to move into an area of less vertical wind shear. Sea surface temperatures out here are definitely conducive for development as well. So at least at this time, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they do expect this to remain a tropical depression as it passes near Guam. Now there are tropical storm watches in place, but I think that's more just an advisory, kind of a heads up, just in case this does strengthen. After it pushes by Guam, though, the conditions are for sure going to improve around this circulation. And that means we're going to expect this to intensify as we go ahead into the mid part of this upcoming week. Potentially could have a pretty decent typhoon on our hands. when 65, 75 knots there towards the northeast of the Philippines. Key thing, as always, Pay attention to the cone of air. Now, guidance, uh, it, it's good as far as it can be as far as that long-range forecast. And I'll get to that in just a second. But here we go. This is through Tuesday morning. Storm passing just towards the south of Guam. This is per the ECMWF model. GFS has a little bit further towards the north. Keeps it pretty weak, but we still could see those gusty conditions along the east coastline as you go ahead through Tuesday late morning, early afternoon with those passing showers. Yeah, gusty conditions, 30, 40 miles per hour. Nothing crazy but uh, for sure tropical showers. So uh, I know, you know, there's not a, a terrible commute on uh, Guam. One reason why I love that island so much, but uh, it definitely is gonna be, you know, a little bit uh, slow. If you're on Guam time, you know, showing up a half an hour late isn't anything uh, quite unusual, right? All right, here's a look at the extended forecast. I love you guys, by the way. Uh, out there towards the ECMWF, still pulls it towards the north and west, same as GFS. Now there are some of those ensemble models that do pull closer to the Philippines as well, and for sure wanna keep an eye on that. But for my friends out there in Guam, uh, scatter showers Monday over towards Tuesday. I know it's in Celsius, I know it's American. I it just, it takes time to change my graphics to Fahrenheit. So you're getting Celsius. Anyways, that's basically mid eighties. It's a typical day in Guam, right? Uh, scatter showers. We do finally start to get a break by Thursday over towards Friday. Anyways, that's all for now. If you guys get any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know. I always appreciate the feedback. Uh, key thing to take away. It's not a typhoon. Tropical depression could see some tropical storm strength gust out there. There's some down tree limbs. Things, uh, you know, some things could uh, like get tossed about, light objects, you know. So just, uh, you know, clean up your yard and everything. Anyways, elsewhere in the tropics, by the way, uh, things are pretty quiet. All eyes are on this unseasonal stationary front there across Japan, which has just been bringing so much rainfall. There has been uh, casualties out here in Kyushu, over a thousand millimeters reported at one location there. It's absolutely incredible. And unfortunately, heading through Tuesday, they got another low and over towards Wednesday as well in the forecast. So boy, oh boy, it's, uh, I, I really feel for my friends out there in Japan. Anyways, that's all for this update on the tropics. If you got any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Plus big shout out to all my friends here on Patreon. I can't do these videos without you. If you guys wanna help me out on Patreon, I'll put a link for it down below, but uh, it really means a lot. All right.